Okay, so as promised, here we have the front end of the Fullosoft pro program. So this is what your tractor operators and shovelers and everybody actually out in the field is going to be working with. So as soon as you boot up the program, it's going to want you to log in here. So it's going to be enter your phone number. 509. Uh, see, and sometimes the program just crashes out of nowhere. That's just something you got to deal with. It's certainly not glitch free. I'm not going to pretend it isn't, but it's all right. Everything has room for improvement. 509-949-325. Oh, shit. I guess you guys don't, don't hit me up. On, ah, you guys shouldn't have seen that. Whatever. Hit me up if you must. So you guys know all my secrets now and then vehicle number we don't really do this I just type zero done okay boom okay so now I'm logged in and now I'm going to choose a route so let's choose random here Matt Stratford so as you can see that's us there the tractor I'll scroll out, do a little two finger zoom action. And then you have to find the start of your route. So where, yo, where is Matt's route? It's here, oh, oh, we've encountered a glitch. Oh, sorry, wrong Matt, Never mind. I was thinking of a different Matt, but okay. Anyway, this Matt, he starts up here. So he has to, Use a little brain power. Find his way to the start of his route. This thing isn't going to guide you there. It's not Google, but that's okay. So he's got to find his little, little traffic light there, and that's where he starts. And then I can't show you this without being in motion, but he's going to drive here with his little tractor. The little icon's going to bounce along here. Do, 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 do. He's going to show up here, and then he's going to get to work. And Obviously, all these driveways with the squares in them are geo. Or, uh, sorry, uh, th these are the geo codes, but they're also staked, so they have our name out front of them. Pretty hard to miss. And so he's gonna pull up here, and he's gonna start banging out these driveways. And once you know, once he's been in this geo code for I don't remember the exact time. It's like 10 or 15 seconds. It's gonna actually go green automatically, and then this is gonna show you know 1% or whatever it is completed. If for some reason the automatic geocode check off doesn't work, you can always manually click on the property and then go complete it, and it's gonna go green for you like that. So we're gonna chug along, keep doing our route, and yeah, we're just gonna do that the whole way. Follow the icon's gonna keep tracking along, and we're gonna bang out all these driveways. Just following the line, simple as that. Sorry if I'm going off camera here. It's a little bit, I'm in a little bit of an awkward position holding this up, but we'll get it done. Anything for the subscribers. So yeah, like I said, we're gonna follow the route here. Once he gets done at this flag here, he's gonna wanna make sure he's at 100% because 100% right here, because if he's not, then that means he missed a driveway and that is completely unacceptable. So he better find out where it is and go hit it up. So once he's done though, how we run things is, you know, nobody heads back to the shop until all the routes are done. So Matt gets done and he's gonna find a friend. So he's gonna radio on and say, hey, who needs help? Typically my guys all have partners so they know who to help first, but you know, sometimes somebody just is having a bad day, whatever, they need a little extra help. So Matt gets done first, Matt is a speed demon. So we'll pretend he's at 100% here and he's going to help a buddy. So he's gonna click here, he's gonna find the roots, and who's he, I guess he's gonna go help, he's gonna go help Riley. So once he clicks on Riley's route, typically, obviously, if Riley's been at work, he's gonna be at, you know, say 80% here. Where is he? And you know, most of these are gonna be green. But what we like to do is this little button right here, um, bottom right corner. This will actually reverse the route. So that's where Riley is going to end, but 
that's where Matt should start because, you know, obviously if he goes to the beginning of Riley's route, all the driveways are done. So he's going to want to start at the end and they're going to meet somewhere in the middle. So you click reverse and then it switches. And then now, you know, our starting point is where it would normally end. And, you know, he's going to same thing, follow the line. And Riley's probably going to, there'll be another tractor icon on here. And he's probably going to meet Riley somewhere in here. And then they're going to be down the routes. Pretty straightforward. What else can I show you with this thing? If you click this one here, this is going to give you, okay, let's go through this. This top button here, uh, I don't know what that does. Um, I guess I maybe take, I don't even know. Doesn't matter, not very important. This one, uh, oh, oh, sorry, I do know what that does. So when you click on this button here, it's the different categories of service. So if you were, it, it defaults to tractor, obviously, because that's your main service. But if you were, you know, say a shoveler, when you log in here, you're gonna tap your shovel icon, and then you're gonna find, now here's our shoveling routes. So then they'll find, and same principle applies to shoveling, just we have less properties on them, but there you go. So that's that. Back to, tra oh, and then, so yeah, you have your shoveling, your salting, your snow hauling if you do that, your salt bins if you do that, and then your, uh, this is for when it's time to install the stakes. And, uh, you know, they'll just all show up. It won't, it won't categorize them as uh, by route. If you go to the stake mode, it just shows you every property that's geocoded that does not have pickets installed yet. And then you can just kind of go ham and, you know, make sure they all get staked. And you don't, ha you don't have to follow a specific route to, uh, to do the staking. You could if you wanted to, but stake mode will just go crazy and show you all the, all the geocodes. So we go back to tracker mode. This here, this little button is going to take you, uh, it's just gonna always, so if you lose your little guy or for some, sometimes this thing kind of goes crazy and it just like scrolls out or like you kind of lose yourself if that happens, that's when you want to hit that button. Why? Okay, so now if we hit that, it's going to take us back so that the view is centered on us, our little icon. Over here, we have, okay, so like I said, that the lock at this. Let's see what this does. I don't actually know what that one does. Something, what did that do? Okay, I don't know what that did, but um, can't be too important. This one, uh, I don't know what this one did either. Okay, I'm a real expert at this, guys. I don't know what those two do, but I can assure you they're not too important. This will just change it from, you know, the map mode to actual satellite. You're never gonna wanna use that. It'll just confuse the hell out of you. Don't do it. <laughs> I believe it on this one. This one, I don't, I don't even know what that did, honestly. Refresh, I guess. Next one here. Uh, I guess that doesn't do anything. I don't know. They updated things this year, and frankly, guys, ne all this stuff you're pretty much never gonna use. Uh, the essentials that I just showed you there are what count. Um, this is gonna, this key is gonna log you out. Boom, we're out. I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> but anyway, okay, so now we're logged. Oh, no, I guess, we, whatever. Uh, but normally that'll log you out, and then this here, Glued, uh, I don't know. I don't know what this is. They made a few changes. All that, all those settings in there, are pretty much irrelevant. All you need to remember is your routes are here. You follow the route, they go green as you complete the route, and uh, that's all there is to it. Very simple. I like the front end of this thing. Uh, you log in and you go to work. There's no BS, there's no finding, you know, a million different settings very simple very straightforward set up to work uh, as soon as you log in you are pretty much off to the races i will say this thing does crash on occasion in the middle of a route and you'll have to log in again or sometimes you know when you fire this thing up in the morning you'll log in and then it'll boot you out right away and you'll have to re-log in again a couple little glitches like that nothing too major does happen but it's just all part of the game pretty much all i have to show you on this thing uh, i guess you know obviously your battery up here uh, if it was if the charger was plugged in this would be your green this would be your data stuff oh yeah and then you got your night mode there if you want to do that i don't really use that but you could 
So that's that guys. Hope that was helpful and we will catch you in the next video.